Okay, I want to continue with the database example we've been doing. Uh, if you are starting here, you might want to go back and watch the two previous videos about how to create a database and how to add a table to that database. Um, in this video, I will show you how we can add values to our table. Uh, and so here we are, we'll go through the code real quick. We created a database, uh, a SQLite database uh, at this path. We opened the database and then we ran this query to create a table which we called test table. And now one thing that I've forgotten to do is to close the database when we're done. Uh, so we'll just do db.close and that will close the database. Now we want to add values to this table. And I'm going to do this using a function. I could have put this a lot of this in a different function as well. Um, this will just help make it a little bit more clean. And so we'll just do void add values. We want an integer for ID, a Q string for the first name, a Q string for the last name. Um, we'll do a Q string for the birth date and then a double for weight. I like to declare my function at the top and then define them down below. Could just define the whole function at the top. This, uh, I always like main at the top, so that's why I do it this way. Okay, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to make a new QSQL query. And I'm going to call it qry again. And once again, I'm going to do qry.prepare. Now the SQL command uh, that we're going to use is insert into. We want to insert into test table. And then we'll parenthesis to start the command. And we want to insert the variables Scroll down a little here. ID, first name, last name, birthday, and weight. Close the parenthesis. And now we're going to give it the values we want to insert except in this case our values are coming from the function and we're going to just put question marks for the values. So the parentheses after this values uh, command are going to be the values we want to insert. And so I'm going to do uh, ID, first name, last name, birthday, wait. So there should be five. Looks like we're good. Close the parentheses. End the statement and end the C++ code statement. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to bind the values to this statement. And so we're going to do query dot add bind value id query dot add bind value first query dot add bind value last Query dot add bind value. And now this we want this to appear as a date. So remember up here we made birth date a date time. Okay. Not uh uh not a string. And here I've declared birthday as a string. And I'll show you uh, how I'm gonna deal with this. And so we're gonna do Q date time. Uh from string and my bd variable and then I'm going to give it the format it's in and I'm going to do this as month month day day year 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 okay that's how I'll format my dates when I do them as a Q string and then query add bind value wait okay now once again I need to execute this query and I'm going to do the same thing here where I go uh, if the 
query does not execute, then I'm going to print a debug message. And it's just going to say error adding values to database. Okay, so we have this function. Let's go up and and actually call the function before we close the database. And so we want to do add values and we'll add one. Uh, we'll call this guy Bob uh, Fredrickson uh, Bob's birthday is January 1st uh, 1984 and Bob weighs uh, 156.5 pounds okay now let's just add another person here just gonna copy this Paste it down here, so we'll make the ID ID two. Uh, Fred Bobrickson. Uh, and he was born two two nineteen eighty five and weighs one eighty one point three pounds. Okay, so now. Let's see if uh, if this works. So we'll build it. Okay. And then we'll uh, run it. Oh, so we got an error adding values to the database. Uh, let's see what may have caused that. And so I've got insert into test table ID first name last name ah it's because this should be birth date not birthday let's build again and let's see if this works now we had an error created table it's probably because that table is already created so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here uh, and we'll just delete all my tables, all my databases in there. And let's try to run this again. There we go. It looks like it's successfully run. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my SQLite manager. I'm going to open a database, db.sqlite open. Okay, so I got my test table here, have my variables there, and let's just do select star all from test table, and we'll run the SQL. Okay, and you can see here that now in my database, I have Bob Fredrickson, I have his birthday, and you see it's a date time, so it has the time on the end. We could probably change that to just a date if we wanted to. And then I have my Fred Bobrickson uh, with his information there. So there you have it. That's how you can add those values into your database.